Welcome to my channel, Aligning With My Soul. Welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you to all of you for all your love and support that you give me personally and to my channel for encouraging me and taking the time to comment and share how you've been feeling um, and sharing what you've been through so far on your journey. So thank you so much. It does mean so much to me. It really does touch me that you take the time to do that. So thank you. Um, if you are new, I have recently done a video explaining a bit about myself and I've shared my face so you can feel like you're a bit more connected if you want to check that video out and I'm sharing about the obstacles and challenges that I've experienced so far on my journey and still are um, challenged with so if you do want to check it out it is in the description box down below um, so head over and watch that if you feel drawn to, to my channel. Um, so if you are new, the purpose of this channel as well is for me to share the knowledge and understanding that I've learned so far on my journey um, and, about, and about sharing how my journey started, how it unfolds and sharing with you who I really am, my, you know, my truth and being honest and sharing my ups and downs, the highs and lows and you can actually hear that when I'm doing my reading sometimes um, with the emotion and the excitement in my voice so and it's the purpose of this channel is to be connected with people like you guys so um, I'm connected with people that are in the same or similar situation because you can feel so lonely and I want to be able to help people um, so much and share the love and to help myself at the same time because I find it very therapeutic doing um, these readings as well so <clears throat> I'm drawn to use mass to tap into the masculine energy because it's usually the feminines that do want to know what's going on with the masculine and drawn to watch this kind of video um, so, and I use oracle cards because I feel that they're much more loving clear and sincere spiritual messages um, so that's why I use oracle cards um, this channel is for people that are in some kind of challenge or separation as well so when I say separated um, se separation what I mean is preparation because you're never separated from your twin you're one soul so you're just not with the physical person um, and that can be challenging so always remember you're never separate you're one soul and I hope that helps you in some way um, you're both working on your spiritual journey so you can come back as one I'm going to start shuffling. Um, I'm very anxious today about doing this reading because I'm. Um, if you haven't seen my video and so you don't know where I am, I am actually. Tomorrow is a big day for me because um, it's my son's birthday and I'm going to be reunited with my divine masculine and I haven't seen him. I haven't seen the physical person for two years so I'm very anxious today. Um, and I'm really excited as well about what cards are going to come out today as well. So I'm using the Moonology Oracle cards, that's what I'm shuffling at the moment. And then I'm going to use the Wisdom of the Oracle. And I'm going to use the Angel Oracles from Ambika Waters today, that's what I'm drawn to use. I did ask for God's blessing before I did this uh, reading as well and guidance. And you have to excuse my words as well because where I'm anxious and the um, energy is so intense at the moment, it does affect how I'm speaking. <laughs> so you have to bear with me. So I'm, it's going to be funny how this reading turns out with all this anxiety in me. But I am excited about seeing my divine masking, but I'm just nervous and overwhelmed with emotion about. I'm, I still feel a little bit like I'm blocking that is really happening, but um, it's really funny as well because I've actually got on you. It's actually on YouTube. I've actually got a video um, on YouTube where the day that I actually met my divine masculine for the very first time, which I will share with you guys one day, because we actually met through Instagram and YouTube. So. Um, I'm excited about showing you that one day. Um, let's see what comes out. What is going on with the wine masculine? They're progressing beautifully at the moment with the wine masculine. A lot is going on with them and a lot is going on 
with everybody at the moment, things are shifting and moving very quickly, rapidly. So let's see what's going to come out for the Divine Masculine today. Be bold and make the first move. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Be bold and make the first move. So your Divine Masculine has been encouraged at the moment. God is helping and assisting him and God's angels are helping him. Um, to be bold and to make the first move, to come forward, to speak his truth or to make contact with you in some way. So this is really beautiful. Um, that's very overwhelming for me as well because even though I'm being reunited with my Divine Masculine, he hasn't spoken his truth with me yet. So it's just like a friendship at the basis at the moment. But and that's why I'm very anxious because I'm trying to let go of how things were before and um, experience living in the moment and knowing that he is different now and he's able to speak his truth and to believe in my divine masculine and just put behind me what happened before when he didn't speak his truth. So I'm very anxious because I don't know how it's going to be when I first see him and how my experience is going to be this time when I see him. So this is interesting, this card that's come out. So I hope it resonates with you. Um, Let's have a look what page is it on. 104. Which is, f one and four is five, which is change and movement as well. So that's really positive. Let's have a look. Be bold and make the first move. Now is the time to be bold, bossy, Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They they're determined and they are great organizing. They go, they are great organizer. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all of those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you're asking about. This card may challenge you on on how strongly you really want something. If you're worrying about a situation, it's suggested to be less passive. Instead, take an assertive stance as you steer events where you want them to go. Speak up for what you want. If you're serious about sorting things out, you may need to take the lead in some way to step up, up as the leader. So he's been, your Divine Masculine has been encouraged at the moment to actually take lead, to be bold, to come towards you. Uh, in some way of communication or um, to speak up in some way, um, to speak how he's feeling. He's been really pushed by God at the moment to actually come up and have the strength and the courage to do it. And this is a really good time for him to do it. So this is a very powerful card. So if this resonates with you and you're <laughs> feeling it within you as well, this is, you know, I would be aware that this something is going to be coming towards you. Your Divine Masculine is going to have some kind of communication towards you and speaking up and being bold um, and taking the first move before the Divine Feminines are usually the ones that are the leaders that push this relationship and this journey. Um, but the Divine Feminines, I feel, especially from my um, experience at the moment, is that they're actually just going with the flow and quite laid back and just trusting in God and God's angels and not pushing this uh, relationship and just allowing things just to flow and, um, to, and being patient um, and not feeling the need that they have to be the leader. They're just okay on their own being independent. So. It's now time for the Divine Masculines actually to take the lead because Divine Feminines are in, are in a good place where they're focusing on themselves and um, growing and concentrating on their lives. So it, it is now, now time for the Divine Masculine to speak their truth, to be the leader in this relationship, to actually move forwards so you can come together, so you can start this new beginning, this new adventure. So 
this is what we want. We want to hear this. And Divine Feminine, is, it's just for you to celebrate, really, for this card, is the fact that if it does resonate, it means that you're in such a good place and you are, you have let go of the outcome of this relationship and you are focusing on yourself. And the whole point of this Twin Flame journey is about you focusing on yourself. And in the middle of this journey, you do always feel like that you're focused on your divine masculine and you're wanting to know this and you're wanting to know that but the more you go on this journey you realize that you don't need to do that you don't need to obsess about what the masculine's doing and what the masculine's not doing because you are one soul so when you concentrate on yourself and you're loving yourself and moving forward to yourself and um creating your independent future you're helping your divine masculine and this is why He's in this space of this energy at the moment because, and he's receiving God's guidance and um, wisdom. So he can be bold to come towards you because your energy is going to your divine masculine. And he's receiving this. This is why he's in this energy right now and he's open to it. So you could be hearing things, guys. So this is really exciting. Um, watch out for your divine masculine taking the lead and coming towards you in some way and this is just for some of you um <clears throat> so i really do hope it does resonate for you um and it's really exciting for me as well um but it's just like at the moment i just keep pushing this pushing it away because i just it's, i just feel really overwhelmed and i'm still having to really dig deep to really trust and believe that this could possibly happen that my divine masculine could actually be bold and be the leader and make the move and speak his truth. So it's quite overwhelming for me, it's just like um, magical. So I'm a bit overwhelmed by everything at the moment. Let's see what the wisdom of the oracle have got to say today, the cards. What is the message today for the person that's watching what's going on with the divine masculine energy and how God's assisting? My masculines at the moment. Right, let's see. Nice clear message, please. Round and round. Again, we've had that the other day. Round and round. So your divine masculine. Um, is being in he's in, in, in the he's having the opportunity right now to be bold to make the first move because he you're going to be going he's going to be experiencing the same thing that you've experienced before um but this time it's going to be a different experience he's going to be able to come back and experience this relationship and this love this power of love and tense love that he feels for you in and in a, he's been given the chance now to correct it and go with it with all the lessons and everything he's learned so far and how much he's changed um, and that's really funny about what i said as well with the, what i was afraid about what i was going to be expecting from my divine masculine because you're thinking about what happened before well, God, God has put it in place for your divine masculine to have the chance to experience what he experienced with you before, but to behave in a different way and to be able to put in action what he's learned so far on this journey. Um, so he's been brought back around again to you, but he's going to be dealing with this situation differently this time because he's learned so much um, and grown so much and done so much inner work that he's gonna he's got the skills and the tools to be able to be put in this situation and deal with it correctly he's going to come towards you in a correct way this time um so this is absolutely amazing i'm going to get the relationship message from this it's 25 so that's seven which is spiritual Okay, let's read the relationship message. Are you wondering how did I get here again? Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? 
may be a little too familiar. Don't be surprised that you found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person who may not look s similar but who attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. Your relationship is a mix of what is good and what is potentially challenging. You have been drawn to this person through the perfection of spirit's plan for your evolution. How powerful is that? That has made me go cold. You may have circled back to a, an accustomed spot, a familiar place, but that's fine as you get to do things again, only differently this time, for you have learned so, something of great value the last time around. How will you choose to behave now and that's, and how will you behave now that you are aware? Remain curious and stay out of the blame game. So your Divine Masculine is going, coming back round and being given a situation to come back to you and experience a similar, you know, just to, to be with you again um, in a similar um, circumstances. But this is going to be different this time because he's learned from his mistakes before. He's learned since he's been apart from you. Um, he's physically been apart from you. Um, he's learned so much and grown so much as a person. So he is going to be coming round differently. Um, so he's been he's been given this opportunity to put into practice, <laughs> put into action is the right word. How to behave in this situation towards you in a, in the way that he wants to in the way that he is able to be himself and to be able to speak his truth and to show how much he loves to you and just to be honest. So that's absolutely beautiful. I couldn't ask for a better card. <laughs> um, I hope that resonates with you and you're excited and you're proud of yourself as well because you've done so much work. You've done so much inner work and um, this is just needs to be celebrated and you need to give yourself pat on the back because this is why your divine masculine is experiencing what he is and it's just all too much for me I just feel really emotional and I just can't believe how amazing you know the intense feeling you have for God's love and the guidance and the magic that God creates for us all and when you're conscious and you're aware that's when you notice the miracles and magic that happens and that is what's happening for me <sighs> thank you god right now i'm going to get the angel oracle from ambika waters these are very powerful cards quite short messages but i have a um, guidebook that i can use for a longer message if that's all that i need it but they're very spiritual and powerful so i'm interested to see what's going to come out today for the divine masculines nice clear message discernment that's interesting through the grace of the divine I'm able to know the right path yes letting go of the things to do with the past and your divine masculine is letting go of how things were in the past and being open to God's love so He's getting the guidance and the wisdom to know that he's on the right path um, and things of how he behaved before old thoughts negative patterns that used to happen different situations experiences people he's moving away from those things now so he um, is on the right path and he's coming towards you and he's feeling the grace and he's feeling divine He's feeling, you know, God's love and he's going with the flow and he knows that this is uh, about divine timing um, and he's, he, he's literally moving forwards with trusting God's love and God's angel's love all the time at the moment um, and he's feeling that support. So let's have a look to see what the additional message is for discernment. Things that aren't serving him anymore, he's changing. Because he knows he's on the right path, because he's had signs, he's had things happening all the time that's showing him because of God's love. 
God's guidance, his experiencing magic every day in so many different ways. Um, there we go. The angel of discernment teaches us to honour our inner voice and listen to our hearts. There we go, this is what we're wanting. If we are given complex choices which involve making difficult decisions about affecting our spiritual evolution, this angel helps us to choose the right path. It's always guiding us towards what we will serve our growth and help us develop our strengths and gifts. Discernment and emanates what is negative. There you go, everything I've just said is said here. Um, discernment elim eliminates what is negative and may be potentially damaging to us. Learning to discernment is refining our skill at sensing what is the healthiest and most joyful path for us. But he's taking, you know, he's right, making the right path. He knows that. He's get, coming away from things that are unhealthy, that are making, that are toxic, that are no good for him. Behaviours, people, thoughts, emotions, situations. He's moving away from that. We can pray to the angel of discernment to help us develop our ability to listen to our inner voice. This will help us hear the angels whispering to us and to know the right choices to make. When we have learned discernment, then the angels help us open fully to the treasures of our inner knowing. They never risk exposing that deep inner knowing to rejection. Discernment protects our deepest sensitivities. The angels want us to make up make only the best decisions for ourselves so this angel is really protecting your divine masculine discernment angel this angel is guiding your divine masculine and he's you know on the right he, he, your divine masculine knows it's on the right path because he's getting all this information wisdom, guidance, and he knows that he's on the right path. He's feeling the love and um, he's feeling the benefits from actually moving away from things that aren't serving him anymore. He's noticing the magic. He's feeling more confident. He's feeling more courageous and he's feeling more authentic. He wants to be able to be himself and come towards you in the correct way. He wants to come towards you and share his truth and to love you unconditionally because he's feeling unconditional love for himself. He's going within, he's listening to himself, he's trusting himself. Because of magic is happening, he knows things are being put in place where he's noticing this magic. And as I always say, he's just he's just um, getting so much downloads of information and wisdom guidance he's needing to cope with this situation what a powerful reading absolutely amazing i'm going to go to my energy pots now to see what energy is in and how he's been feeling as well so it'll be interesting to see what comes out <clears throat> i hope this resonates with you guys i'm really excited for you and i'm excited for myself as well <laughs> And I'm excited the fact that I'm able to share this with you about what I'm going through as well. In, and yeah, this love. You are his guiding light. And this love that he feels for you is guiding him on the right path. It's guiding him to open his heart to God. Um, because you've both been through so much. And his love for you is just so powerful and his heart is full of love and this is why he's able to be feeling and making this change right now. What else is going to come out today? Spiritual, yeah. He's had so much spiritual growth, he's feeling so spiritual, he's in a spiritual energy because his heart chakra is open, he's trusting himself and he's feeling close to God. He's, he's listening to God. He's putting God first in his life to guide him through this challenging experience and most beautiful experience. 
Right, so now I'm going to get the communication, which is going to be very interesting. What would your Divine Masculine love to say to you in 3D? And he's, he might be saying this to you very soon, because he's going to be bold and make the first move. Or what is he saying in the 5D? You know? There's so much going on in the 5D as well. Let's see what's going to come out. Yeah, this is what he would say to you in the 3D and 5D. Our future together will be so bright. He knows that your future together is so bright and he wants you to know that. He wants you to keep trusting and believing and having faith in him. And he wants you to stop worrying and know that you both, he knows. And you know that you're going to have a beautiful future together and it's going to be so bright. So set aside those doubts and fears, which is not easy all the time, is it, as I know. What else would your Divine Masculine say to you, if you had the chance? Well, I want you to be the mother of my children. <laughs> He knows that your future is going to be bright together and he, he wants you to be the mother of his children. So this is only for some of you, obviously, because everyone's situation is different. But that is just a beautiful love to feel anyway, to, to, for him to look at you and to feel that he would love you to be the mother of his children. So your divine masculine, for some of you, this is... Um, he, he's wanting children with you. He wants a family with you. He wants this bright future with you. And he knows it's going to be bright. Um, so he's thinking about family and what an absolute um, compliment and amazing thing to say is that he wants you to be the mother of his children. You can't get any better than that. That's very touching. That's very, it's very touching for me. I hope it is for you. Um, right, I'm going to get a reminder card for you, the person that's watching, to bring forth your beautiful, divine inner spirit. So it's what God wants you to know today, to help you today and to help you stay focused on your spiritual journey and to focus on yourself and to help you have the strength to carry on on this journey. What is the message today for the person that's watching, please? God, nice, clear message. How exciting this reading is. The next time I'll be doing my reading, my Divine Masculine is going to be in the same house as me. <laughs> so that is going to be interesting. Let's see what comes out for you today. What is the message for the person who's watching nice clear message please time for a clear out <laughs> time for a clear out guys in every way let's have a look the message is quite literally it really is time to get rid of all the clutter in your life tidy your house and declutter anything which doesn't feel right for you start right away it is an ongoing process, but when you can truly, I mean, when you can fully let go of old attachments, it allows a refreshing new lease of life in. It's very spiritually refreshing and cleansing for the soul. And the action to take is get your cleaning gloves and clean and declutter all areas of your life. It's very cleansing for the soul. And the powerful affirmation is I honour my divine self and I now feel cleansed and refreshed. So. This message is, for me personally, I'm thinking, this is how I'm channeling it, is, it's not necessarily about cleaning or anything like that, it's about cleaning what's within you. The old beliefs that you've had about your Divine Masculine, you need to get let go of those. Um, I need to take this on board, as I said when I started this reading. You need to let go of what was and live in the present moment and clear it out, clear out the old of how you used to feel and what happened before and to clear that out so you can allow the new experience in. And in the physical as well, if you 
feel like that you need to declutter things in your house or you need to get rid of things that are reminding of old how you used to be or old things um, and you need to make room you, you there's lots of new things that you're wanting when you get rid of the old and declutter you're making room for the new anyway so some of you might want to physically do a clear out in your house or whatever it is that you need to, you feel that you need to clear out. But I feel personally this message is about clearing out the old beliefs, the old emotions and things that are within you that's holding you back to allow the new beginning, a new adventure to start. Because it, you're, you, you're still hanging on to a little bit of how things were before with your Divine Masculine and thinking about his behaviour before. Um, and you've got to let that go, release it, and be in the present moment and have a fresh, be, be, have a fresh way of thinking things, believe that think you're in your divine mask and believe that things can be different. And know that they are different because look how much you've grown as a person. That's the same as your divine masculine because you're one soul. He's, he's grown as a person, he's different now. Um, it's just about believing it and trusting it and I'm not saying it's easy because I'm still, be, as I've said, being challenged with that at the moment and this is what I'm releasing and this is why it's coming up for me and this is why I'm in this energy because it needs to re be released, it doesn't serve me anymore. So I have to surrender, surrender, surrender to this. So ask for God's help to help you release this old belief system, old things feelings and memories of things that have happened. Just know that those things happened for a reason and everything happens for a bigger reason so you can be where you are right now. So, how amazing is that? I hope you enjoyed this reading. I absolutely loved it. It's really helped me today. And when I do these readings, it really helps me, you know, because I feel close to you guys and I love being close to people that are in the same or similar situation because sometimes you can feel so alone and so crazy as if you're making this whole thing up. Um, because living in the 3D and what society is telling you is so challenging in your everyday life. And this is my little time to be close to you guys and for me to be real and to really trust myself and my knowing and feel close to God. So I hope you enjoyed it and keep believing guys, keep trusting and having faith and try to focus on yourself and not what is going on with your masculine because you're one soul and that's all you need to remember. It's different from any other relationship. So the more you love yourself and concentrate on yourself, you're helping your Divine Masculine come towards you anyway. And it's about Divine Timing, God's in charge and God's, it's God's plan. And you will be brought back together when you believe and trust and have faith and let go of old <sighs> belief systems and experiences and just live in the present moment. So thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel um, I do now have PayPal in the description box down below um, and thank you to the people that have donated already it really does mean the world to me so if you do want to donate and support my channel it is in the description box down below um, and if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe and like this video because it excites me and makes me so happy and touches my heart um, I will be doing a video, it won't be tomorrow, but it'll be the day after, and as I said, my Divine Masculine will be here, so the cards will be very interesting what comes out. Let me know in the comments down below what's been going on with you and what you've been experiencing. I love to hear from you guys. Um, I'm thinking of you all, and I'm sending my love, support, and light, and strength to you guys, and I love you all so much. Thank you. Bye. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.